Hello and welcome to thecryptobot.com. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Gunbot version 22 for the Windows operating system. Uh, the first step will be to get the file directly from our GitHub, which is github.com forward slash Gunther De Niro forward slash BTCT forward slash releases. Make sure you get our files specifically from this website and nowhere else. So what you want to do is click on the win underscore 14 dot zip file. Uh, for this is for the Windows installation specifically. We also have an ARM version, a Linux version, as well as a Mac version. But for now, we will be opening up the Windows version. So once you've opened the download file, you want to extract the win underscore 14 folder to your desktop. I also recommend uh, creating a folder on your desktop, naming it Gunbot, just so you have ease of use for finding your files later on. So go ahead, open up that, make sure it's empty. And what you want to do is extract those files from the downloaded Gunbot program. So it'll extract those files. And the next thing you want to do is to right click the win underscore 14 folder. Uh, what you're going to be doing is ensuring that the files are readable and writable. So as you can see here, I'm going to right click and then go to properties. And at this screen, you will see that read only has been enabled. You want to make sure that those boxes are empty. Click apply. Apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files, and then click OK once more. So now what you want to do is double click that. Right click Gunthi dash win and go to properties. And now make sure that read only and hidden are not enabled. You also need to verify that unblock has been checked. Click apply and then click OK. So now what you need to do before you do anything else is go to timesyncTool.com. This is a free program that ensures that your computer is running in sync with the exchange that you are trying to trade on. Uh, sometimes without this tool, you will be trying to trade and you will have a time slip in which you are not synchronized with the server that you're trying to trade through. So what this does, it keeps that uh, your time consistently updated. So just go ahead and install this like you would any other program. Click next, click next again, click next once more. Make sure you install as service, click next, click install. Uh, you will see it uninstalling here on my computer as I have previously installed it. But once that's done, enable start now and look for this yellow and green icon and double click it. So here you will see the time servers that you are synchronizing with. Click update now and get, go ahead and close that out. So now what you want to do is right click Gunthi dash win and run as administrator. So depending on your settings, this might take a second just for you to go ahead and verify if that's what you want to do. And you should see this terminal window pop up. Make sure you allow access to your private networks or if it's a laptop and you're trading publicly, which it's questionable, click allow access for that as well. So now you have your GUI server deployed. What you need to do is go to your favorite web browser, type in localhost, colon 5000. You will then be prompted to create a password. Here I'm just using the word pass and click save pass. You will now select the exchange that you have licensed your gun bot through. Uh, depending on the license you've gotten from the cryptobot.com, you can have more than one exchange that you are able to actively trade on. Uh, keep in mind you can also update your license if you see the need to. Uh, that allows you to have more features as well as add more exchanges. But for now, I've selected Binance and now I'm going to be cutting and pasting my API key, which is also known as the public key. 
And then I'll also be cutting and pasting the API secret, which is known as the secret key. Now you also have to keep in mind that the secret key can be called private key. So now set your exchange fees, which varies by exchange, as well as your Gunthy wallet, which is where you have your Gunthy token stored. This will be the ERC20 compatible wallet where you have deposited your Gunthy tokens. So once you've situated all those options, click next. Uh, there you will be prompted to verify that information. You have your exchange, your API key, and then your Gunthy wallet. Once you've double checked those items, go ahead and click save. Click save once more and you will see a little flash animation uh, as Gunbot loads your data. Uh, give that a couple seconds and from there you will be adding your trading pairs. So click on pairs, select the exchange that you are trading on. Also keep in mind if you have any questions about uh, an option, you can hover over it with your mouse and it'll give a brief explanation of what that expression means. As you can see, there's a custom, you save balance defaults. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to go to wiki.gunthi.org where you can see a lot of information as far as strategies and pairs, learning how to use easy edit, strategy editor, uh, charting. Essentially, any question you might have will most likely be answered here. If not, keep in mind, thecryptobot.com also has a private Telegram channel we can come in and get a hold of somebody with any questions you might have. So, since you've added your Binance license, or I have for this example, you put that as your exchange. For your trading pair, there's a drag down list of every uh, compatible trading pair on that exchange. But for this example, I'll be using Bitcoin to purchase Ethereum. C keep in mind, that's how your trading pair will work. The coin you are purchasing with will always go first and the coin that you're trying to purchase will go second. So once again, if you're confused by that, consult the wiki. But for now, I'll go back and we'll select a strategy. Uh, we also have a drag down list. I always use Emotionalist for my quick trading needs, but feel free to experiment and see what feels best for you. There are also countless overwrite settings, which once again are covered within the wiki. But for now, I'm just gonna save changes and begin trading. So as you can see, the flash animation starts and give it a couple of moments. I will click on start trading and give it a bit to load into the GUI. So now you can see a uh, chart. Uh, you can change the options here as far as you know, zooming in, zooming out, your candles, your indicators, uh, markets, alerts, overviews, your return, anything that really you want to find out. These charts will really help you uh, nail it down. But it also helps to really visualize anything you might have questions on. Uh, keep in mind with Gunbot, you can set entry levels, exit levels by percentages, by decimal points. Pretty much you can customize Gunbot to be anything you'd like it to do. It's also really good at saving you time so you're not sitting in front of your windows, you know, beating your head against the wall trying to find out what works best for you. But as always, keep in mind, as long as you have all good, keep calm and Gunbot, your bot is working correctly. If you have any questions, feel free to visit us at CryptoBot.com. Find us on the Telegram support channel. Uh, for, for now, uh, this has been CryptoBot.com. Thank you and have a nice day.